Today on All About Trailers, we're gonna dive into a viewer question that we keep getting over and over again. What's the difference between low boy and deck over? Hi, I'm Kiefer and this is All About Trailers, the only YouTube channel that delivers trailer information weekly and tries to keep you, your trailer, and other drivers safe on the road. Now this isn't a versus video like our gooseneck versus bumper pull or our oil bath versus grease axle lubrication videos. This is more of a general information on both types of trailers. Now, when it comes to low boy or deck over trailers, they're both equipment haulers. So what are the actual differences? Are they big enough differences to make a diff- <laughs> That was way too many differences, huh? So low boy or deck over, they're both equipment trailers. They haul the same thing, farm equipment, oil field equipment, vehicles. Shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp salad, shrimp and potatoes. They can haul a lot of things, but what are the differences between the two? We're gonna dive into that. We took a field trip to Texas Pride Trailers, grabbed Ace, who you might remember from our dump torture test video. He's awesome. Well, he grabbed two trailers and some equipment to haul on there. So we're gonna dive into this real quick. So let's start with the low boy trailer. The low boy gets its name from where the deck is the height of the deck. So the low boy has the deck sitting between the fenders a little lower than the fender walls. So that's why it's a low boy equipment trailer. Now, because of the height of the deck or where the deck sits, it gives a really nice, really stable center of gravity, really nice to haul with. So Ace, the All About Trailers crew, we all loaded up and we went to go load this trailer with the two ATVs, get that process, see what it's like and drive around a little bit. It was a great, great drive. It hauled like butter. You could strap things to the rub rails, to the stake pockets, or to the actual rails on the side of the trailer. Now, if you cannot find a place to strap, tie, cinch, anything down, there's something wrong, because this gives a plethora of anchor points to use. So like I said, the model we grabbed was a low boy with rails. This gives you a lot more versatility of what you can haul. It's not just a flat deck. Now, Texas Pride does offer the flat deck models without rails in a standard deck width of like 82 inches and then a wide deck at about 102. They have drive over fenders. It's really neat. If you wanna check it out, go to www.texaspridetrailers.com. Click on the low boy trailer you see on the home page. It gives you a little filter page that you can kind of narrow down your GVWR, your hitch style, and then you can actually look at all the models. There's pictures, there's walk around videos. Everything you'd wanna know about these kind of trailers are there but it was a really versatile trailer. So when you think of these low boy trailers with rails or without rails, think of a utility trailer that you can pick up at Tractor Supply and Rambo, if they had a baby together, it's one of the best trailers I've ever seen, this style of trailer. So the versatility of these things are amazing. They can load anything, they can haul anything, as long as you're within your weight limit, and they are smooth as butter to haul. The next one we're gonna look at is the deck over the deck over equipment trailer. Once again, this gets the name from where the deck sits on the trailer. So with the low boy, it was lower in between the fenders. This one is actually on top of the wheels. So the deck extends out over the wheels and acts as the quote unquote fenders, but you get a lot more deck. And you can actually put some really big equipment. We went out to a ranch where Ace cuts hay. He had a Massey Ferguson, I think it's like a 1970 something tractor and a huge hay baler. Now, by no means is this a small trailer we grabbed. It was a gooseneck. Uh, I wanna say it was a 40 foot. It was huge, but it can haul massive things. This had probably about an inch and a half, maybe, maybe two inches left when we folded those mammoth ramps. By the way, if you get this trailer, get the mammoth ramps. It makes it so much easier. They're spring assisted. So putting them down, they're a little heavy, but when you put them up, one person can do it. It's not hard at all. But this trailer is amazing. You have a lot more deck. You have a lot more width there that you can actually load. We had that tractor on there and that's a wide tractor. We had about a half an inch on the sides that were hanging off, maybe a little more than that, but it held everything perfectly. Little hanging off, but it gave us ample room to strap things down, to anchor the points, the axles, the tires, all of that stuff. So just like the low boy, what you can carry on these is very versatile. Farm equipment, pipeline equipment, oil field equipment. You can put boxes, ramps, generators. I mean, the list goes on and on. So loading, unloading, strapping, anchoring, making sure our load was secure was a breeze on this trailer. This, the rub rails with the side stake pockets were amazing. 
If you're thinking about getting a new trailer and for hotshot work or like just hauling stuff every single day, this would be a great everyday trailer. Call Texas Pride Trailers. Number will be in the description. Call them, talk to their sales guys, ask the questions. Hey, I'm thinking about hauling this. I don't know if I want a low boy or a deck over. They will help you through that process. The main reason for this video was because we get a few comments every, every once in a while saying, hey, what are the differences? Are they really that big of a difference? Yes, they are. But it also doesn't mean one is better than the other, but one might be better for you. When you're thinking about getting a new trailer, for whatever reason, business, personal, farm, look at the specs and look at what you're gonna be carrying. The sales guys at Texas Pride, like I said, are willing to help you through any of the purchase process. But make sure you know what you need to haul, what your truck can tow. If this video helped you out at all, let us know in the comments below. If you have any questions about these two trailers, we would love to answer them. Leave us a question in the comments. As always, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let us know any of your thoughts. We'll see you in the next one.